lot of intensive research. Everything I think he, he, he like interviews family members and stuff like that to see what they were into as kids. So like pull <laughs> random shit out as gifts, so like just Jesus throw them Christ. off completely. And whenever they ask, I'm like, "Where'd you get this? You're Jay Z. <laughs> we had to do it. Only the best for Jay Z." Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It sounds incredible. Yeah, it, it could be an interesting little trip to go to, to watch. Mm, let's see, I gotta... I already started the stream. No. Oh, okay. So we were just talking about Nardwar at the very beginning, and that's, that's cool, because we're us. Yes. So where's the layout that I'm looking for? It's right here. Also, I'm eating an orange. Eating an orange. Oranges are good. Fuck you, Reaper. Oranges. I or was that no Reaper? Reaper doesn't like orange juice. He doesn't like orange juice. Yeah, that's Reaper. Doesn't like oranges. I don't know what's your problem, Reaper. What the fuck? Oranges are are delicious. They're one of the best fruits ever. They're they're so tasty. I need to turn the Wii on. Can you do that? Yeah. You got them on your side of the dealio there. I assume the NES pad would still be good for the Master System games. I think so, yeah, because I've seen the Master System controller, and it looks very, very similar to the NES one. Mm. Even in, like, the shape of it. Mm. I'm actually going to go ahead and squish this down to standard definition, since all of these games are going to be in standard definition anyway. Yeah. Hello, Aaron the EV1717. Welcome to the live stream. We are just getting a few more technical things ironed out. Um, it should be on, like, try composite. Because, like, I thought I had it on, I had it on HDMI 1. Maybe it's not doing so well there. It's always confusing, because, like, we're using composite cables, but within, like, Oh, wait. I know what it is. Okay. We don't, because uh, I was playing... You don't have the HDMI back to the I TV. was playing my PS3 earlier. Okay. I forgot to do that. Alright. Go back to HDMI 1. See if that did it. I imagine so. Yes, sir. It most certainly did. Okay, uh... I think that's pretty much all of it, except I gotta open up the restream chat window for us. Okay. And I let Dis Discord know in advance that we were gonna be doing this. You gotta put on, go ahead and just put on standard. Uh. For three. Because it's, well, I guess I would square it on, on your end too, probably though. Well, it, it, you didn't have to do that. I mean, it looks fine here and it looked fine then, but hopefully that won't affect it any further. Yeah, I just like, don't want it to. Like double squ squish it mm -hmm. to where it's like a fucking single pillar. In I figured the... like. Because it's basically in full screen now when we when we put the HDMI back to it. Right. It's basically full screen anyway, so this way it's at least more natural proportions. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the Elgato uh, audio up a little bit. And I'm going to drink my sixth Keystone. I am actually, ironically enough, going to have drank six beers before we start this it says sonic 2 but is it genesis or game gear it's neither, neither. it's sega tonight, master system tonight we're doing 
four ma- the four Master Sister games I have Master Sister games. Master Sister. Master and Sister. Master and Sister. Sega Master and Sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have four of those games on Wii Virtual Console, so we're going to do that. Yeah. And then there's also two NES games mm-hmm. uh, that we kind of didn't do in the last NES Virtual Console six-pack. Uh, and yeah, we chose Avoid This Blob and this import game called... Bokute Upa, or you can you can see the full list. Yeah, of you can games see the list on because um, they're from Twitch. Yeah, it'll be in our like notification um, text, like the games that we're playing. Hey, Spy Dyer, I eat sauce. Spy Dyer eats sauce. Oh, I too eat sauce. Tell me about your sauce that you eat and what your favorite sauces are. If yeah, you, if you so please. Of course, another option we would have had for a six-pack tonight would you have be... A, you have your phone with you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, another option we would have considered would be Final Fantasy for the NES, the original one. But we figured uh, for a six-pack, we're only doing like 15 minutes for each of these games. Yeah. It uh, probably wouldn't be a good fit, being like an old-school JRPG yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, we need games that are ideally more immediate and easy to just jump right into. Yeah. As opposed, because like any RPG, you're going to have to have a, a long-ass intro and Yeah, long-ass intro, story build-up, you got to learn the mechanics. Yeah, like, I don't know how much, in the, how much of that is in the original Final mm-hmm. Fantasy, because this is like really old-school, like just like very basic foundations for... The JRPG genre. Yes. Between, like, this and, like, Dragon Quest and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It could still be a lot. Yeah. Anyway, we will be playing Sonic 2 at the end of the night. End of the night. I have the games in alphabetical order, so we're gonna start with Alex Kidd. Okay. I didn't randomize the order since it's four SMS games and two NES games. So okay. I just kind of... Didn't randomize them. Is that alright okay. with you? I was thinking of doing the, uh... Just thinking, going by, like, the system. So, do... Like... The two NES games, and then the two... And then the four Master System, or... Whatever. But, well, I don't we, know, we can go by the list that you have. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It won't, really. I mean... The two NES games will be back to back because of this way of doing things. All right, GBA Final Fantasy I like more than NES Final Fantasy. I love Alex Kidd. I haven't played that in a while though. I've never played it at all. Yeah, so this is going to be a learning experience for us. Let's. We need to jump right in. In fact, I have not played any of these games at all. Eight minutes into this live stream, and we ain't played a fucking video game yet. God damn it! Give me All that right. trash can. I need to throw this can away when I'm done drinking okay. out of it. I, I need the trash can too, though. I got a bunch of stuff. Well, I'll. We'll. This is. Fun. Okay. Yeah, right next to the microphone so everybody can hear us throwing our garbage away loudly. <laughs> yes. It's because you're all garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Newsflash, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, let, me, let me adjust the timer on this. Go ahead. Keegan can't get over laughing at the baby cube sauce. Baby cube sauce. Cube with a Q. Q-U-U-B. Q-U-U-B. Q-U-U-U-U-B. Okay. Give me just a moment, Lee. Clearing this stuff off. <laughs> sure. Patrick was eating right before we started, cause we can't do any of this shit that we do. Like Patrick always has to eat right before the stream or during the beginning of the stream. Yeah. He can't just eat like an hour or two earlier. Nope. It's our it's our tradition over here at We Flash People HQ. Yes. Patrick, it, it is it is demanded of him that he do this. It is a ritual. It ensures good luck during our gaming adventure. Yes, the uh, 
The ancient We Flash people. Ancestors. Yes, of like three, like less than three years ago. Let's see. So you're streaming on both YouTube and Twitch? Yes, YouTube, Twitch, and hopefully Mixer. But Mixer's been kind of weird because, like, they did this funny thing where they, um, basically gave everybody new stream keys for some reason. Like, because they updated their terms of service or something. So... Hopefully, I'm coming through to them as well. And if not, well, shit. Alright, Alex Kidd first. Alex Kidd is the first game. Alex Kidd I've, in the Miracle World. I've, I've pretty much title. got the order memorized. Um, Wait. You're free to go ahead and start the timer whenever gameplay starts. Oh. Let's, so let's not start it just quite yet. Okay, this um, was oh, like... And, and let me... Um, oh, yeah, adjust the volume. Adjust the volume and adjust the, um, because, like, I need to set this back to 350. Okay. Because yeah. I set it to zero during the drunk lock. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alice Kidd, if I believe, if I remember right, he was the original Sega mascot before Sonic. Right. And again, of course, we'll see Sonic later in the night. But, yeah. Okay. Time I'm, started. I'm still... No, I'm not playing. Oh, is this a demo? This is still a demo. Yeah. Okay. It says press start button yeah. right here, but I press start button and nothing happens. Maybe the start button... Start button must be A on the Master System controller or something. Okay. That must be what's going on. Okay, here. now you're playing. All right. B jumps, A punches. Yeah, that's right, says Aaron the Eevee. Meow! That's right! No, but that... That's my line. Okay, um, the start button brings up this map. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, can I, can I, like, grab this? Alright, I can punch it and I get money. I get money for punching things. I'm like a fucking pro wrestler or a MMA fighter. More money Or a me. bizarre fetish performer. Oh, wow, this floating block here. Holy shit. This truly is a fantasy world that <laughs> Alex Kidd is A miracle is world, in, in fact. What a miracle. What a miracle. Oh, boy, there. Punch the fucking block, Alex, <laughs> you stupid fucking kid. There. I don't even know why I wanted to punch that block. I just felt I need to for the sake of completion. <laughs> you know gotta I mean? get that 100%. Got, gotta get that achievement for punching every block in Alex Kidd. <laughs> you are... <laughs> He's not Alex Kidd, he's Kyle Kidd. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking achievement unlocked. I hate block people. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Hi, we're We Flash people. <laughs> oh, wow, the money disappears if you don't grab it quickly enough. Those pterodactyls have overbites. They damn sure do, don't they? You're ready to get a dentist appointment? Exactly. Okay, I know what to do here. There we go. Now I can get back up here and punch this fucking dinosaur. Come here, motherfucker. Come here, bitch motherfucker. Any day now, bitch motherfucker. He's like he falls really fast. Uh, never mind. I'm not gonna fuck with it. This is taking too much time. Yeah, probably better just move on to the level. I died. I touched the overbite pterodactyl and I died. And I died again. Yes, you did. Okay, this time I won't die. Uh, at least not at that particular part. It's a cube walk over there. It appears to be a ghost. And I'm dead! <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out! You're welcome. Your turn. Alright. You pointed that out because you knew I would die. And I don't knew, know shit about this game. You knew you'd get the control. Fuck you. you I, this is a conspiracy against me. Ha hashtag investigate 831.19. Mm -hmm. See, there's another cube walk. 
That's a diamond ring or something. Oh, of course, you get the fucking diamond ring when you punch the Q-Block. I get a ghost that kills me. I'm pretty sure you got that same Q-Block earlier. Okay, yeah, that is hard to... I was probably just like... Because I can't... Run it through. I can't... I can duck, but I can't seem to crawl. Why yeah. can't Alex Kid crawl? Like Metroid? Crawling Damn in, it. my kid! Ew, that's creepy. It is. Like you probably probably should crawl with your kid. You 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 have to probably punch out the blocks that are under that. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. It, but it's really hard to do that. Like, it's really hard to break blocks in midair with your punch. Yeah. Like the timing is kind of weird. The timing and the hit detection. Yeah. Because it seems like sometimes the blocks will just ignore okay, your button commands. Let's see, I'll just. God damn it, wrong button. He won't hit the other button. Oh, you just narrowly missed it. What do you got there, Scooter? God damn it. Yeah, the hit detection is weird. Because I'm right in front of it, and my fist is right there. It just goes through. Yeah, it just goes through. Maybe you can't break the blocks in midair. Maybe you gotta, like, figure... Oh, I mean, I just did it. You just, you just did it. Okay, well, maybe you can't break the blocks in midair when they are also midair. Which would be odd. Which would be an odd specific thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I Damn mean, it. Alex he Kidd, slid right the fuck off of Alex that. Kidd is full of mystery and wonder. Okay, and, I'm guessing this... Is this skull block gonna kill me? Probably. Probably. Oh, it makes ghosts oh, it appear. makes ghosts appear. And yeah, they dead. kill me. And the, ghost, the ghosts... Okay. The ghosts... Are deadly. I like to... Oh, it is... Whenever you die, it is... Or change screens, it... It was completely blue, mm -hmm. as if we're changing the input on the TV. <laughs> All right, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna take uh, the um, unique strategy of ignoring the money blocks, because, like, you don't even, like, does it even show? Okay, it does show how much money you've got. Maybe there is a use for the money later, but we're only playing this for 15 fucking minutes, and I want to see more of the game. Yeah, that's fair. Keegan got a living early birthday present, and it's four ducks. That is adorable. I remember when I was, like, um, a very small boy, and I would go with my grandfather to feed the ducks bread at the park, which I didn't know at the time, and I don't think he did either. But you can't feed ducks bread, because it's not healthy for them. They need, like, seeds. Oh, we used to feed... My dad used to take us to feed the ducks bread... All the damn time. You too, huh? Yeah, we, we, we must have killed a lot of ducks. Yeah. Fist bump for duck abuse. There yes. we go. Yes. That bro, was my way of doing duck hunt as bro, a kid. Bro, bro, Tendo. Yeah, bro, Tendo. Yeah. <laughs> you want some ranch duck? <laughs> no, I mean... Huh, Bilardo? There is... Says... Aaron the Eevee. I'm, a, I'm assuming they are referring to my comment earlier about the, um, shit. About the money being used for something later. It is nice that they spawn you right where you left off, though, like Contra. I do appreciate that. Oh, shit. Ooh, swimmy swims. I am, I am, I am, I am submerged in water. You see, like Mario, you gotta do the okay. ground levels and the water levels separately, pretty much. Mm-hmm. This is like this is this is. Can I get out of the water? Level, um, longer thing, man. You don't. You it's right from one straight to the other. Yeah. See, that's what makes Sega. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yeah. And Nintendo don't have water levels and earth levels in the same overarching level. Take that, Nintendo. Mario's a bitch ass bitch. Or I mean, is it supposed to be? Kind of like a like a more open thing, maybe where it's not separate levels, but maybe almost a Metroid style thing. Because I've never heard of that. That would. I be... figure I probably would have. I mean, heard. there is a map. There is a map. So yeah, that's, what, that's what's throwing me. But maybe it's like a world map of like here's the whole overall Shit. thing. It's not like okay. a Metroid kind of map. God. Oh, Metroid didn't even have maps at this that point. That fucking The seaweed fish. killed you. That fu or was it the seaweed, or was it like was an it, indirect touch from the fish? 
Ah, I got killed by a bubble from like the underwater Dr. What Brown. The fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you know, great guy, sort all the way back. Alex kid needs some milk. Get here some milk. Get here some milk. I want to watch the video where that she got that from. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't even a video. Maybe it was just some relative of hers. Oh, okay, that's how I got it, and it was a, it was another ring. It wasn't a ghost. Weird. Okay, so it's, it's random. randomized. It's random. It's yeah. randomized. Shit. The plot thickens. Oh god. Oh god. Much like my fat ass. Okay, you can't punch them either. Because I eat pizza. I tried punching that ghost. You can't punch a ghost. He thrusts. It's incorporeal. He thrusts his fist against the post. And still insists he sees the ghosts. That's actually a uh, sentence that they teach or used to teach Fuck! to kids that have a problem with stuttering no. to kind of try and train them out of it. Like, say that's if you could say that sentence properly, it means that your stutter is improving. Mm -hmm. And I learned that from Stephen King's It. So never let See, it be. So never let it be okay, said no, that Stephen good. King taught nobody nothing. Okay, so the seaweed or whatever does not kill you. It was definitely something else. Yeah, it? it was either the bubble or it was a touch from that fish. Touch. Okay, and I see. I see you float automatically. Yeah, you you, go. you you go back up if you just don't do anything with the controller. So how did how did you get to scroll? Okay, now it's scrolling. It wasn't yeah. scrolling earlier. Maybe you gotta collect some item or something or like walk around enough or like not walk swim around maybe i don't know this game is weird in some ways yeah like it's not bad right it's, it's just kind of yeah let's have bubbles you gotta watch out for it's strange and it's difficult yeah look at him eating that fucking rice ball he's way too happy about a ball made of rice and, and salt. Because that's all rice balls really are when you break them down to their essential components. Yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that this would have been Sega's original mess. Like, it's, it's in a way, kind of Mario-like yeah, in a lot of especially ways. especially Mario 2. Yeah. Reminds me a lot of that. But then again, when was this game released in comparison to that game? I don't know. Maybe, like, around the same time. Who, who knows? Uh, but then it makes sense why they did Sonic... To stand out from Mario, you know? Yeah, like And they Sonic's... show off the... Blast processing! Yeah, Sonic's, yeah. Sonic's gameplay is generally faster. It's focused more on, um... Like... Gaining speed and momentum as opposed to... Kind of... Avoiding enemies. Yeah, so you haven't even been able to... We haven't been able to punch enemies yet, have we? Um, we haven't been able to like, well, actually have attack we, have we, The ghost have we, will fucking kill you. Yeah, the ghost will kill you every single fucking time! Right, right now! Like, right now, there is the fucking ghosts. Fuck. Getting away from those ghosts. I am afraid of no ghosts. Mm -hmm. Well, you're afraid of some ghosts. No, that, I'm of ghosts afraid, existing. No, no, I'm afraid of no ghosts, dude. Okay. That's, that's the song. I know, it's the song. The song says that. Are you, uh, yeah. are you trying to tell me that Ray Parker Jr., whoever the fuck that sang that song, wasn't smart and intelligent at the same time? He couldn't grammar. He couldn't grammar. But he could. That's the plot twist. Maybe because he was so afraid of the ghosts, he couldn't even speak properly. You know, that's that might be it. Like, if I was, if I was or, fucking but... dealing with a ghost, my first concern would not be getting English grammar perfectly correct! Correct! <laughs> We've been playing this game for like 45 minutes, two, right? Yeah, yeah, we have two minutes remaining, so... Okay. 47 minutes total. Alright, this game was released in 1986. I don't know when Mario 2 was released, but it probably, like, around the same... I think Rough I feel like period. I feel like the original Mario was eighty five. Yeah, I think. and when I say Mario two, I don't mean like the lost levels. I mean you mean like the American the Doki, Mario? Yeah, Doki Doki Panic reskinned. Yeah, essentially. Damn it! Damn it! You slide all the way up the fucking cliff. You don't just fall straight down. You fucking go so horizontal with it. 
He got his shit all horizontal. You know, man. you know. I just realized that I, I that because you, you saying "damn it" made me think about it. There's this Blink One Eighty Two song called "Damn It," right? And um, at first, it f seems like they named the song "Damn It" because it's about the protagonist of the song having uh, seeing their ex girlfriend at a movie theater and shit. Damn it! Sorry, but it damn it! Yeah, it might be called "Damn It" because the riff can be kind of difficult to play at first. Because it's so <laughs> it's so fast, yeah. So it's like I, you keep fucking it up and going, "Damn it, damn it!" I wonder if that's what it is. Huh. Like once you get used to that riff, it's not hard. Um, but I mean, when you're first writing it, it's probably pretty difficult to actually play. Fuck! You died. I thought I could jump over that, but. He went more vertical than I thought. We are now at the again. point where we're getting worse at the game instead of better. Yep. Good for us. <laughs> but of course, I know with Turbo Graphics, they had uh, Keith Courage. Yeah. To start out as their mascot before they had Bonk. Keegan and... won't stop making chalk powder on my face, says Mary Lou. Yeah, I don't. And, and Keith Courage, apparently that's the one that, like, no one gave a shit about. Yeah, There's, yeah. like, no charisma to him as a mascot whatsoever, just bland. I guess he's courageous? Yeah, they played but... a little bit of that one, like, that free Freelance Astronauts yeah. series of videos that I showed you where they played a shitload of TurboGrafx games. Like, they played a little bit of that one, the American version and the original Japanese version, and they were like, yeah, this, this game is just kind of boring. There's really just not much to it. It's just a bland platformer. I'm not Simba, goddammit. Yeah, that was a timer, so okay. whenever you end up dying, so probably to the fucking bubble yeah. guy again. When next game over, we'll uh, switch, and the next game will be a boy in his blob. Right, I've been curious to play that one for a while, yeah, actually. I actually saw, um, like, I don't know if you saw it, but when I give you that picture um, over the phone of, like, those games that were at Recycle yeah, yeah, CDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, was, I, I saw yeah. it when I was there. The the remake of it. Yeah. But I've also, I've read about a boy in his blog. I remember reading about it in Nintendo Power a long time ago. Uh, not when it, like, first came out, but mm -hmm. they did, like, they had, like, a section they called Replay where they would go over, like, they cover like one classic Shit. game from a Nintendo system, and they they talked about that one at one point. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a really cool like uh, puzzle platformer kind of thing, and very cute. Like the uh, at least the Wii version is one of the only games that has a hug button. Mm -hmm. So like at any point in the game, you can just you can just hug the blob because he's like your little buddy, and not a lot of games do that. <laughs> But, For uh, obvious reasons. Yeah. Because they don't want to be cute. Call of Duty needs to have a hug button. Yeah. The next the next con needs to have it. You know, Pokemon actually kind of sort of has that. Or like the later Pokemon games that were released on the uh, 3DS. Where it was like they have like Pokemon Ami. Yeah. Um... Oh, are you like... Yeah, you go ahead and find the game. Okay. He just ate chalk powder and then went... Bubble. I don't think I have it like... I need to go piss anyway. So you, you, uh... You just found it. Yep. Yeah. So just leave it on, like, the start screen or whatever until I'm done pissing. Okay, sure. To how y'all doing? Justin's really peed off right now. And yes, he fell asleep drunk last night during the Pokemon drunk lock that he was doing. I actually had to come in at the end and end the stream for him. Oh, here's all the credits for the game. Just one screen. I'm back. What I 
I miss? The, the title screen. And also, no, I'm not missing it. I saw it. I'm seeing it right now. Well, we, the credits that came up as well. There were credits? Right here. Ah, uh, well, now I haven't missed them. Nope. David Crane, Gary Kitchen, Jesse Capilli, Alex Demio, Mark Van Heck, Frank Kovitz, Jay Rick Backle. Booth, and Jay Backle. Jay Backle. Hang on, I'm gonna add everyone in Discord. Okay. Because, like... We don't have very many viewers right now, so I'm gonna be an obnoxious jerk in the okay. hopes that it will get me more viewers. So basically, the way this game is supposed to work, uh, and I don't have the controls figured out, like, at all. Uh, basically, because you're the boy, you don't have a lot of, uh, the boy can't really do much on his own, but he can toss jelly beans at the blob to make the blob turn into different things. Like this ladder, yeah. for example. Licorice is a ladder, apparently, but... Oh, okay, I just moved to the next screen, I guess. Have you started the timer? No, I have not. Start that. I should do that. Sorry, Bill, sorry. Okay. I love his uh, long strident yes. pace as he runs. Health foods. Like jelly beans? 66 licorice jelly beans. Mmm. That's a lot of jelly beans. Okay, I guess I guess B calls the blob over, but he's not coming. Well, give him I know time, it's not, I don't tell him like go fetch him, do I? Remember how many fucking screens you were at? God damn. There okay, he here he comes, yeah, Sam. Yeah, exactly. He's got to make his way over. Don't be fucking impatient with him. It's like asking a sloth to run a fucking marathon. He can only travel at the pace that he uh, is naturally capable of traveling at. Okay, so... Ain't fucking Usain Bolt over here. Let's see, I guess... I don't know if a ladder will do anything here. Well, it's worth a shot. Can I, like, nope. climb off that? No. A health food store where clearly I need a ladder here. Well, I can't see. I can't go in the store. Laggy, says Spy Dyer. I don't know if she means laggy like it lagged, like the blob lags or if there's some kind of problem with the footage let us know if there's a problem with the footage Let's see i mean i'm not seeing i'm not getting any alerts in stream labs about it okay, there's a subway here maybe can i go to the subway go down the stairs here we go yeah that's where i am dave you... rick sue Harry. baby sue baby sue baby Sue that baby. Get you a $53,000 payment from Costco and sleeping in pee pee. <laughs> that doesn't fucking <laughs> go to him. Here, Wall, would you like some licorice? Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Me. That's not doing it. I'm underground, so clearly I need a ladder. See, do I have other? Okay, you, you can. Have you coconut, can. Okay, I do actually have other ones. Cola. You 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 select. Okay, I was confused food. for a while. Yeah. At first, I thought it was 66 licorice jelly beans that I could purchase from the health food store. Ah. At first, I didn't realize that was just constantly there. Okay, so damn, that's a lot of fucking jelly beans. You got. You're gonna have to fucking like try okay. each of them to see yeah. which, which one is applicable here. Okay. Damn. All right. Let's see. That's strawberry, oh, damn it. So I'm still getting the controls. You're gonna overfeed this fucking blob jelly beans. Okay, I mean, it's a bridge. Cool. Yeah. Don't really need that. Bridge or door or something. Yeah, I, I, this is, I kind of expected it to introduce the jelly beans slowly, gradually over the course of the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, but you got the whole fucking smorgasbord right now. Damn buffet of jelly beans. Coconut okay. is just a coconut that I can throw, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's probably some kind of weapon. Or maybe you can, like, break through walls with it. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. I'll, I guess... 
See, maybe if I toss, like, A, he just throws him. So casual, too. Yeah. It didn't connect for a second. Uh, I'm back now, though. Weird. Maybe it was just on your end, because, like, we didn't get any alerts about the stream quality being any different. Okay, so Paul is a bubble. Yeah, that I guess, like, just, fizz. Yeah, maybe that allows you to float in water or something. Yeah, maybe, says Spider. Or, like, float, like, anywhere, maybe? I guess, possibly. Like, maybe if you've got, like, um, some kind of space that you've got to go over. Maybe, because he can't jump. That's too large, yeah, that's too large for the bridge to do anything with. All right. If that's what that is. Let's see. Cinnamon, which, it look. I don't, it looks like they might have spelled that wrong, but whatever. Maybe they did. I think they got it right. No, yeah, you might be right. Blowtorch. Hmm, okay. Maybe I could use a blowtorch. That's all a thing over here. But I don't, of course I don't know like what actually makes it go. Maybe if I just press A again. No, it just drops them. What should I do with this blowtorch? What if I drop it right near my feet? Let's see if it's thing over here. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it looks like some kind of a fucking, like thing that you would put a code into or something some kind of a computer terminal maybe i thought maybe it's something that you have to like it's a circuit breaker thing or something like that, that well that might have been so i was thinking maybe a blowtorch about, yeah. would do it but i don't know doesn't like it doesn't seem, like seem it. doesn't seem to do anything all right which one of these jelly beans will turn your blob into an electrician <laughs> yeah Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird for, like, a start of a level. Yeah, it really is. It just kind of throws you into the mix. Maybe there's some kind of a guide in the manual for, like, what each of the jelly beans turns a blob into. Maybe. But obviously, we don't have the manual immediately accessible to us. That's an umbrella. The Umbrella Chronicles. Congratulations. You are now dry. Oh, wait. You've always been dry! <laughs> Okay, tangerine. Tangerine. Jesus Christ, how fucking many of these are there? A lot. I really wish they would start me just like one. Start me with just a ladder and give yeah. me a level that uses the ladder and then move me on to the next level and give me another jelly bean or something, you know? That helps considerably. All right. Maybe you can bash your head against the ceiling if bashing it against the wall in frustration isn't doing it for you. Root beer. I don't even... They only have six of those. By golly. It's a racket! Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, it's a rocket. I thought it was just an arrow. Like, this is where you go, dumbass. <laughs> I mean... Doesn't seem it. Can you pick it up? Nope. I just used up another one, but whatever. <laughs> honey jelly? I never even heard of a honey-flavored jelly bean. Hummingbird. Hummingbird, okay, that's... Alright, can you, can you hack into the terminal, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> Hummingbird Blob? Can you pollinate it? Ketchup, Ketchup. jelly beans. Oh, that mm. sounds fucking disgusting. My lord in heaven, why? <laughs> Way to catch that jelly bean, you stupid fucking blob. He's like, I don't want no more jelly beans. <laughs> Dude. He's like, ketchup is gross. I'm not gonna catch that. <laughs> I ain't gonna catch up. Okay, a hole. That might actually do it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh god. shit. Now you're gonna die. Oh, yeah, god. god. Okay, I didn't think that... I was not expecting that. <laughs> I thought he would demorph from the hole and join me and then I could move around. Well, whatever. Yeah, you, you go ahead. You, you try you've, it out. You've, you've, I yeah, played you've plenty. spent a lot of time on it. Yeah, okay, it, it's that's a slower all start to this game than I thought it would be. Okay, so... Maybe we I should on Final Fantasy. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, follow me, you stupid fucking snowman-shaped ass. <laughs> fucking blob. Motherfucker. 
I mean, I can't say I do. I do kind of like the overall idea of the game and the presentation. Oh pretty yeah, nice. the idea is pretty pretty awesome. I like the like the animation as well. Can you? Can I actually like walk that way, or do I need to like walk this way? Walk, talk this way. Uh, I want the punch jelly beans. Yeah. Fucking come here, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, it can be hard to get them where you want them to go sometimes. If you want them in a specific spot. Because the way he follows you around. Yeah. Okay, uh... Are you I a trampoline you or... to turn into a ladder. Or a ladder. Or a ladder. Ladder would be good, yeah. Uh... If, if it'll... If it'll reach. Uh... Ugh! No. I should've... I should've went ahead and... Here. Yeah, if you got him closer. Got him closer, or... Maybe the trampoline would work here. Which one was the trampoline again? Like, the honey one? I don't remember. I think it might have been the honey one. If I could fucking... Yeah, the cola one was the bubble one. If if that one would even help, I don't know. Okay, you can try the honey one. Yeah. <laughs> Eat the jelly bean, you stupid ass! <laughs> Hummingbird. Uh, can you, well, can you, all right, Hummingbird, can you go up there and get me that treasure? No, you can't. You suck. <laughs> uh, what about ketchup? It just won't eat the ketchup one. Yeah, I never, <laughs> it, just, it just will not do it. It's just like, <laughs> can you oh, blame mo him? motherfucker, ketchup, <laughs> jelly beans? <laughs> you lick my ass before I lick that fucking jelly bean. Okay, um... Come on. Tangerine, trampoline? Is there like... Am I... Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, all right, that's the correlation. And I wasted another fucking jelly bean. And I fucking made it go back to normal! <laughs> We're so good at this game. Uh, uh, all right, oh, that won't even work anyway. Not quite high enough. Shit, not high enough. I'm not high enough to play this game. <laughs> Maybe you do even ladder, you just seem to be closer. This ladder yeah. definitely goes up further well, or or you could try the see if the cola one would help you like float up is that's the bubble uh okay like, you already got the ladder though you already the ladder, got the ladder and that that worked yeah i now have 1000 of whatever the hell i'm trying to do we did a thing yay good for us like no i really do like the idea of the game i think it's really fascinating like it's it yeah, there's a puzzle solving element to it as well as the platforming elements i i yeah. admire i admire the um ambition of it but it's also really hard to just jump right into it so is it is so i can understand why it's a little more obscure yeah again i feel like if they just if they just measured it out a little okay i see what the problem is with that you gotta like fucking when you get to that screen you gotta do it on the left side okay um so i guess your turn again sure since i died so i think it was like wasn't it all the way at the end yeah, yeah. come on asshole Get your ass over here. Okay. Get your ass! Probably ought to guide it a little closer. Yeah. Yeah. That might be a little too close. Yeah. E -hee. There's just a way to get them to go like exactly where you want. Okay, let's see if this will do the trick. Probably won't. Yeah, he doesn't like climb on top of the ladder and then jump off or whatever. We have to. You gotta be like right fucking there. Mm-hmm. Eh. You, you gotta be real precise. 
I, God I, I, damn. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking horse shit, dude. Use the bubble. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me see if the bubble, the bubble. That was cola. Let's see if it'll work. I don't know if it'll help me float, but... Yeah, I just saw the ground, it looks like. Unless I can kind of, like, press A and... No. Because I think it, it probably has to be the ladder. He's gotta be really fucking precise. E Man, I skipped it again. <laughs> it's really easy to skip through that. There should just be a menu that you can access. Yeah. And just choose the one. Okay, maybe this will do it right here? Instead of having to scroll through all that shit. Seems pretty close there. Yeah, it's probably about as close as you'd ever get it. Ah! And that's still not close enough. Son of bitch. I don't think he even moved. He didn't move. He didn't move! That's not gonna do it. I think I have a jelly bean there. <laughs> Fuck it, these are Fuck my it. jelly beans. I'll, I'll show you how it's done. I'll be the ladder. Yeah. I don't. What do I need you around for? Yeah, if there's, if there's a way to like get him to like, hey, just stay put here or something. Yeah. That would help a lot. Is he, I mean, hello, did we even get through all of them? Uh, we did. Yeah, so it's punch. Yeah, punch yeah and then, then it, it just goes back to licorice. to licorice. Huh. Let's see. Uh. Can I just do punch again? Fuck it. Yeah, I want to jump up there, but. Let's see what's let's see what's below, if anything. Let's just go to hell. Yeah. And, uh, punch hole. Straight to hell. Yep, straight to hell. Next game. Okay. Uh, can we work checking out again at some point though? Did you want to play any more of it, or can we just go to the next? We game? can go to the next game. Yeah, let's go to the next game. Uh, but yeah, I'd be down to revisit this at some point for yeah, sure. Yeah, we can we can definitely do that. But like, this is the kind of game that you probably need to. We need more time. Figure for out. Sure. We, yeah, we need to figure it out. And, like, get a better feel for it. Yeah, it'd probably be a better recorded series as opposed to a stream yeah. series. Because we would come to a lot of parts where we're just, like, trying every jelly bean possible. Yeah. And just Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, okay. Book and maybe, and maybe uh, the uh, the Wii Make is, uh... Maybe it starts things off better. It has a better difficulty curve to it, is I Wii guess. I don't know if difficulty curve is the right term for it. Is but... the word Wii Make actually a thing? I think I've heard it used before. But wow. that's what that's what I'm calling it, at least. It's the remake on the Wii. Shit. <laughs> Four twenty, bro. And yeah, you can see start that? the next see one. See that? Look, look. look Four twenty. Yeah, Four twenty. Bro. Tendo. Bro, Tendo. Do do. <laughs> So I think next is this yes, one. this one. This was actually a Famicom game. It was an import game they had on the Virtual Console mm -hmm. for NES, uh, and I'm pretty sure Konami made it back in the day. I think it was Konami. We'll see. Uh, it is, for what I understand, a platformer where you play as an infant. Yes, Konami, 1988. Mm -hmm. Push start key because it's a key. It's a key, not a button. Key. Key, you get a key difference. Turn the key in the ignition. You're such a small baby that even candy and cake is massive for you. It's, it's actually bigger than you. What kind of fucking horrible monsters would I be fighting that, like, want to kill a baby? God, they're dicks. It's one thing to want to kill a plumber. I imagine a lot of people have wanted to kill their fucking plumber. But a baby? Shit. That's just, that's just devilry. Whoa. Fuck you, pig. Fuck the pigs, yo. <laughs> I mean, was it maybe- Oh, oh, oh my god, I you can, learned to walk! I can, I can go fast and-, and Is it like oh, invisibility? Oh, Is it like invisibility? Yeah, yeah. You got, it's, it's like the star. Now I am a small man. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> eh, wow, okay. Oh, I you fell from a yeah. 20 foot height and I fucking got injured. Who'd have thought? Have you ever tried to drop a baby off of a fucking That baby's building? gonna be fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you start the timer? Start the timer. I better start the timer. <laughs> timer started. The game seems accessible, at least. Yeah. Like, it's simple. Oh, you can like, actually write them, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a cool mechanic. And I got my life back. That's also pretty cool. You you undropped yourself on the head. Yeah. In a process known as de-retardation. I'm now detarded. <laughs> you detardified yourself. <laughs> Oh no, the baby boss! Oh, oh no, a big it, pink thing. I it's like a it's like a birdo, a pig version of birdo. Oh ass! Fuck! You just spit turds at you? Did you just shit turds at me? It spat them. Sh sh shat. It spat turds at you. Spat. Trebek. Oh god, you start all the way back here. Lord help me. Jesus! <laughs> Why didn't you help me, Jesus? Jesus! I thought Jesus loves all the children. Turns out he It's only, a lie! Turns out he only loves his own son. And he can give a fuck about other people's kids. Oh, you can't you can't, you can't access use the items. Yeah, you can't use the rattle. In that mode, you can only like run around and jump. Mm. It shipat turds at you. Shipat sounds like a like Pakistani prime minister or something. Shipat. Ow. Woo! -hoo! Oh god, this baby's gone out of control. Someone stop him! You've gone out of control, I'm taking your badge away! <laughs> Give me your badge- hand over your badge and your rattle. <laughs> Ow. That was like a Rugrats thing. <laughs> if they were playing detective or something. Yeah. Because cake always heals you. It's a very extremely healthy food. Mm -hmm. It's always cake, baby. Cake all the way down. They're a good band. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you're supposed to like. Because I saw you slide them over. At yeah, yeah, Hotel you can before. slide them. It so seems like... very Birdo like to me. This fight. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Like, you slide them over and then you hit the hit the boss. But I don't... Uh... Seems tricky. Yeah. And with Birdo, it's pretty straightforward. This one seems kind of weird because you have to you ride them as well. God damn it, I was facing the wrong direction. Your okay. turn. My turn. Figure this shit out. Continue. Sure. Start. I mean, it starts at the beginning of a level anyway, so whatever. To some fucking continue. Does select do anything? Uh. Doesn't seem to, no. Come at me, piggies! Fucking pigs!
I do kind of like it so far. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the controls and I like the like it is a some of the mostly mechanics. kind of basic platformer so far, but it's still kind of unique. Yeah, and it and it feels nice, and the I like the music too. I mean, some of the enemy sprites are a little difficult to figure out, like what's going on, but. Maybe you hit it when it's turned to, like, the other side of you? Or you hit uh, it in the back? Maybe. I can't figure this fucking boss out. God damn it. Uh. Back to the beginning of the fucking level. Yeah, I mean, I said there was a checkpoint before the boss. It's like, yeah. this stuff is nothing. Even a, even a child could get through this. Dare I say, an infant. This is like the, the true difficult portion right here. Mm -hmm. This is where they show you what the stakes are really like. Yeah. In the world of Boku Te Upa. You see, I got I, I picked up an apple there. I didn't get shit for health on that. Fucking apples. Who ever heard of an apple being good for you? Fuck that shit. Apple a day keeps the baby at the same health that he was before. Fucking yeah. useless. Cake is the only true health food. See how when I ate it and my health didn't go down? It's because it's healthier than apples. I ate the apple and my health didn't go up at all. Garbage. Oh shit. Right on top of me. Oh my god. I'm trying to hit him when, when he's back his turn, but it's hard. difficult. Yeah. You got a lot of room to maneuver. God damn. For a game where you play as an infant, they expect a oh, lot god. of you in the first oh, god. boss fight. Shit! All right, that was all your fault. God damn. Oh shit! Now you've oh. got five. Soul yeah, if you can hearts. eat, if you can eat yeah. hearts, then that's even better. Because I mean, than I saw it go up from three to four last time you did that, and now it's up from four to five. The more, the more human hearts you can eat, the better. Yeah. Kalima. Uh, it's called the Kalima diet. Mm -hmm. Kalima traditional. That was terrible. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Oof. Oof the doof. God damn. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think you can hit him from behind. Yeah. Do you just wait the boss out? Oh, wait, okay, what that, the fuck that, did you that, do? Okay, oh, yeah, you, so you definitely knock those into him. I'm not okay. sure how exactly I did it, but um, that's got to be the trick. Yeah, that's that's clearly it. And you died. Okay, but now we know. Son of bitch. Now we know. Make good use of these six minutes. That's actually plenty of time. I really, <laughs> I really fucking hate having to play through the whole level every time. Yeah, there should be checkpoints. Checkpoints would be nice. If there's a boss right there, yeah. just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, never mind. I can't scroll the screen back. God damn it. I'm fucked. No! Oh, I'm fucked! Oh, you're fucked. See, I, I told you I was fucked. Turns out I was right about how fucked I was the whole time. Twist ending. Okay. Oh Poor shit. Poor kid barely even got going in life. Died in his prime. 
or except he was an infant, so he went in his prime. <laughs> Those like his prime years, absolutely. Yeah. If, oh, you're, if your top years are when you're just an infant, that's when that you, your life must be. You're not even suck. when you're not even old enough to retain memory, and those are the best memories you've ever had of living. <laughs> you have had a truly shitty existence, and I pity you. <laughs> I tricked you into falling down a pit. You tricky baby, you do you? Baby, stay out. Go 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 go. Okay. I'm having a strange urge to eat cake right about now. Cake, maybe, maybe like with some cherries on it. God damn it! God damn it! And like thick frosting. Oh, that would fucking hit the spot. Yeah. God damn it! You did hit him, at least. Yeah, I hit him a single time. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of tricky to figure out uh -huh. how to attack with that. It's a little weird. That poor suicidal crow. <laughs> Counting suicidal crows. That one. That's all I got. Uh -huh. <laughs> the only crow ever. <laughs> that was suicidal. It's the only crow They're a ever. very optimistic species. Ver th no, it's the only crow ever. Like, of all the crows. That was the only one. Counting only crows. One. How, one. how is it that that is a species when there is only one of them? <laughs> counting crow. <laughs> the counting crow. Today on Nick Jr. <laughs> Can you count to... Crow? <laughs> one? The end. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You <laughs> have, like, so little room to maneuver. Yeah, I know! It's This is a bullshit-ass boss fight, dude. Like, it go the game goes from, like, really super dumb easy to, like, fuck you hard <laughs> in a matter of one boss fight. Look at Dracula pops up. And yeah! It's, fuck this game. Or this that particular part of it. Yeah. This is why this shit wasn't released in America, is because American don't Americans don't have to put up with this shit. We got fucking lives beyond this. Yeah, beyond being babies and all. Just a couple of dumb babies. <laughs> yeah, what is his problem? Goodbye. Goodbye to the people who caught at me! <laughs> hey, uh, I got a great joke for you. Uh, what, what is a crow's favorite video game? Ratchet and Clank 2 going commando. Yeah, but the punchline is, uh, COD! Uh, COD! <laughs> COD! COD! <laughs> what is it, COD's favorite video game? It, it's Ratchet and Clank 2 going commando. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. Owie! Like... If it didn't float up when you hit them, it would be easier to just kick it over at the boss. Mm -hmm. This is the longest 15 minutes of my entire life. <laughs> 
Because, like, I like the game in theory, but you're just doing the same shit over and over again. Yeah. It's starting to get really fucking monotonous and annoying. I can see that. Okay, we can just... Find a way to push past the boss. Yeah, I mean, I need to look up, like, a, uh, like how you're supposed to really actually damage it. Yeah. Like, how you're supposed to do it consistently. Where you can do it intentionally. Yeah, I mean, there's probably, like, a video... There's gonna be a video somewhere. Yeah, or someone a video or some kind of... Just see how they pull it off. Yeah, some kind of guide, like, you press the buttons when such and such. Let me see, maybe if I get down here... Because, like... Okay, you can oh, ricochet him around. Oh, okay. Huh. Now we've got something kind of half-assed going here. Yes, okay, this Okay, is... I hit him twice. Maybe he bumped three times? Yeah, hopefully. Damn it. Okay, come on. Got him! Got yeah, you! And now you have... Oh, okay, it's a chest. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna attack me! Fairies! Where are you birds? They just kidnapped a child. Alright, you just got kidnapped. That's the end of this game. Yep. Bokute <laughs> Upa! Or however it's pronounced. Alright, up next is Fantasy Star. Okay. Then Secret Command. Do it. Then Sonic 2. Got a memory like a fucking steel trap, my friend. Okay. So yeah, the rest of these are Master System games. Obviously, Alice Kane was a Master System game as well. Mm -hmm. We've just been doing this alphabetically, so... It's fine. Uh... So yeah, Fantasy Star. The original Fantasy Star. Which I'm so used to hearing, because I've heard of Fantasy Star before, but usually I've heard of the Fantasy Star online when it was like an MMO. But this is like the original, I believe. It's supposed to be like a. It's uh, on, it's a yeah, left center. Mm -hmm. I think it's supposed to be like a like dungeon crawler style RPG, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I think it's supposed to be like first person. But I don't know. I never played it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I finished that one, so I guess you can start this, and I will start the timer. Fantasy Star! That's a lot of stars, but where's the fantasy? Maybe maybe the Earth represents the fantasy? Deep, dude. Space Century 342. Can we need on something? Palma or something like that. Scum, do not sniff around in LASIK affairs. Learn this lesson well. Get your laser eye surgery elsewhere, bitch. Nerd. What happened? Don't die. I know that's Nero. No, that's Nero. Nerd. But, but it says nerd. Nerd. That's, that's how that's I read it. That's what it says. That's what yeah. it says. Alice, listen. LASIK is leading our world to destruction. Oh, I tried shit. to discover his plans, but I could not do much by myself. I have heard of a man with great strength named Odin. Maybe the two of you can stop LASIK. Alice, it's too late for me. Be strong. You know, Odin is Dino spelled backwards, so maybe you gotta go look for Dino from the Flintstones. Yeah. I will make sure that my brother died not in vain. Watch over and protect me, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Watch over and protect me, nerd. <laughs> okay, I'm starting the timer now. Alright, I'm going into a giant orange. Here is the home of Alice. It's pretty... There's nothing there. <laughs> wow, you just moved in yesterday, didn't you? Whoa! Whoa 3D, bro! Hey, Mar hey, Mario 1T3, what's up? Welcome to Fantasy Star... Not online. Welcome to Fantasy Star Offline. Dude, this is like those screensavers they had on old-ass <laughs> Windows computers where, like, it's just a maze yeah. that you're walking around in, and I'm out of the maze. There was nothing in here. There was nothing fucking in here. What the fuck was the point of that? Not much, man, you. 
Uh, playing playing this game and other games before it. You could go left on that. Wait. It's like left. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I saw that, but I thought that was like where I came from. Oh, maybe it isn't. There is a treasure chest. Do you want to open it? Nah. There are fifty mosquitoes. Oh, mosquitoes, huh? Fifty mosquitoes. Fifty mosquitoes. Fifty shit. mosquitoes. I killed fifty mosquitoes. Now you got fifty malarias. I got. I killed fifty mosquitoes in, in, <laughs> in World War Two. Yeah, on Okinawa. Okinawa. I heard of these Twitch thoughts. Ever heard of these Twitch thoughts? LMAO. I I have heard of like Alinity and shit like that, like throwing their cats around and giving them vodka. Just throwing her pussy everywhere. Yeah, throwing their pussy all over the place. Um, I want to stas or mech shit, shit sword and lith armor. <laughs> Hi, gaming dishwasher. <laughs> There's one solid, elongated, sharpened shit. Fart sword! <laughs> this, is, this is like his dad. <laughs> did you start the time? You started the Yes, timer. I did. Okay, attack, defend. Alright, so these are my stats. Um, no, your stars. Yeah, stars. Mag I don't know magic yet, so that's okay. Item, I have like Heaven. 50 Mercedes. Sriracha. Sriracha. No no Sriracha. No, there doesn't seem to be anything. There's nothing special about Sriracha. It's just fucking Sriracha. Yeah. I never knew you had Mixer, LOL. Well, we do, yes. We just... That was the most recent one that we got. I mean, we've still had it for a good while at this point. Yeah, but out of all of the three of them, it's the most. But recent. it was it was before the whole ninja thing happened. Devin, before yeah, he moved Devin, over. Definitely before that. So maybe more people potentially could be seeing us on Mixer now than before, because it was kind of a yeah. really obscure. Like we didn't platform we didn't that. get much of any attention on Mixer until I did that one Super Mario sixty four stream, and then we got like it just fart fart two. Rub. Far too D2. <laughs> um, okay, I'm out of here. It's a very uh, RPG-ish name. Fartu. Fartua. Okay. Stella uh, Fartua. I want to talk to this guy. I, I No, I don't want to go to that screen. I want to fucking talk to the guy. You try to talk to the guy and it takes you to a whole different world. But, like, even it's if like you... like a city. Like, because, like, I'll show you this. You could walk away from the guy and press this button and it'll still take you to this. Ah, uh, okay. Huh. And you press B and it also takes you to that. So you can press B or A and it talk and it takes you to what that you, like, screen. Select or anything, isn't it? A few days ago, oh, I started go, playing Earthbound and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm talking to him. It's okay. You just wander around, explore, and figure it out. In some dungeons, you will not get far without some sort of light. Okay, so we need some kind of light source, like a lantern or something. Thank you for letting us know, mysterious tall stranger. There is a spaceport to the west of Cabinet. I will try to keep that in mind. Look at all these shops. We're in, like, the fucking shopping district. This is an armory. Do you want to buy something? <laughs> I, I thought it said, this is an anarchy at first, Lance. <laughs> this is an anarchy! Uh, um, lith sword? Sold? We already have a shit sword. Lith shield. No, that's oh, a sold. Oh, shield. Sold. Yeah. Or just another sold! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the weird-ass pyramid. Um, in Earthbound? Uh... Look up a guide, like, because, like, occasionally I had to go and look up a guide to figure out what to do next in, with that game when I was first playing through it. No. He was my guide. Except sometimes I was a shitty guide because I still had to look up mm -hmm. what the hell you do next, because even though I'd already played it before. This is a first food shop. The first food <laughs> The first food ever. The even first, in the future. It was burgers and cola at the very beginning. <laughs> Burgers the and dawn cola. Of time. <laughs> In the beginning, there was cola and burgers. And God's and God said, <laughs> "Damn, this one good McDonald's, yo." <laughs> <laughs> this is a secondhand shop. Can I help you? Uh, 
Ooh, Flash! I wish we could buy Flash. Oh, yeah, but there's a can. Trancer as well. Trancer. 48. That's an oddly, like, specific number. Yeah. Like, 20, 10, 48. I'll get an escaper just so I can spend all of my money like like a wise human being. Yes. All right. Thank you for taking all my money. I'm going to go over here now. Uh, you go ahead and play now because okay. like, I've been playing this yeah. for a pretty good while. In the, beginning, in the beginning, God said, let there be cardiac arrest. <laughs> let there be bypass surgery. Dear, now I can stop you from doing what you know you must do. But if you should ever be wounded in battle, come here to rest. Sugar. Sugar Shug. plum chums. Sugar. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> I hope I hope that your migraine is healed. You had better not leave the residential area. Okay, Mr. Stormtrooper. <laughs> With boobs. Unless you hope to die, you had best stay here. I want to die. I want to die. Well, I guess you'd fuck them, am I right? You didn't even have to listen to their bullshit. Yeah, they're turds, man. Why is there a stormtrooper? I do not know. Alright, so those are your stats. Okay. So how do I fight... If needed. Or is it going to be like a turn-based thingy? It'll probably be like a, a turn-based thingy when you uh, encounter an enemy. You can't just fight nothing. Very true. I mean, back when I was a kid and I would watch like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes and then I would like try to mime along to what the characters were doing. I, mean, then, I was thinking maybe enemies would be on the screen. Yeah. But maybe not. It's an old school RPG. Nope. It's old school turn based shit. My my fine young friend. Okay, here's a battle. Man eater. Well, you're a woman, so you should be okay here. Okay, chip me away. Let's see what else? Oh, we got. you can you can see the man eater's HP, which it has two HP. It has six and sixteen HP. Maybe it's like two of them. I have to fight. Uh, maybe. And you're like just fighting the first one right now. Like and then they bring their other right. Pokemon out. You probably ought to try like healing the cola or whatever. That might heal you. Yeah. I go to item. Or I can drink some mystery science theater. Yeah. There you go. Now we're getting... Now we're cooking with gas. Which we somewhat need to do because we're trying to do burgers. Yeah. Because this is the world of burgers. Alright, you, you got it down to zero HP, and now it's down to eight other HP. What the fuck is that shit about? Yeah, it's weird. Talk. Try talking to it. <laughs> hey, can we work out our differences? This is fucking. It's. An try early, it's it. an early version of fucking. Um, no, they can't understand. They can't understand each uh, other. All right, all right. You can't speak man eater. Yeah, maybe if you were hollow oats. Yeah. If I, if I was the woman that they wrote about. Yeah. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. You got twenty six Mercedes. I think we got off on the wrong foot, says the gaming <laughs> dishwasher. You know, you and I, we, we don't have to fight. We're not so different. <laughs> We're not so different. Damn it, another one? Yeah, another one. Or I'm two, so dead. Or whatever the fuck. Try running. Yeah. There's a run option. Run for president. Yep, fuck that shit. Ah! Good encounter rate, swarm. A swarm of one insect. Okay, at least they die fast. It had a treasure it chest, a, tre a whole mosquito, a whole ass treasure chest inside of its little mosquito body, with three mercedes. That's a shitty treasure chest. Imagine opening a treasure ah, chest. Another one. God like, damn it. Oh, hey, three pennies. Awesome. You're I dead. died. Alice's hope cannot overcome <laughs> the power of LASIK. The adventure is over. You died to a fucking mosquito. 
She she died, but her vision was substantially improved <laughs> thanks to LASIK. <laughs> no! Glasses or death! Or, no! I wanted to press continue. Fuck. Oh, boy. Son of a bitch. Cock whore. God damn it. Yeah, 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 you fucked up and failed and you're worthless. Protect me, nerd. <laughs> I'm gonna go get those 50 mistakes. AVGN should totally play this. Yeah. Protect me, nerd! I she will! <laughs> also, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Alright, yeah, open the treasure chest. Give me those 50 mesetas. I wonder if I can explore around and find any other treasure chests. That would sure be nice. I could use some more money to get more healing items. Yeah. Yeah, because right. the enemies that are probably, popping up so fast. That probably just takes me back outside. Yeah, I'm not sure how much you can explore in this initial thing, though. Yeah. Doesn't look like much. Maybe there are other caves, though. I'm sure this, there are. I'm sure there in are. In the same town. Like, I think usually when I've seen pictures of this game, it looked kind of like this. Yeah. Where you're exploring around. It, like, it, it's supposed to be like a dungeon crawler style RPG. Hmm. That's one of the main, like, right. defining characteristics of it. What's this? I'm Nekis. One hears lots of stories. You know, small headed tiny man. You know, but some say that a fighter named Odin lives in a town called Scion. Also, I have a Laconian pot given by Nerd. That would be helpful to you in your task. I wish I could help you more. I pray for your safety. Hey, he gave us pot. Well, he gave us some weed. So I feel like, you know, He's we're starting fella. this journey off well. If I can just get some burgers and cola for my munchies, then I would be. You may not pass. Okay, Gandalf. You are going to fail. If you want to make a deal, you should head for the port town. Alright, so that's where you go for, like, bargains and shit. Also, I didn't mean to run into you again. Fuck off. <laughs> Stop standing there, asshole. Don't you have anything better to do? No, I just direct people to the port town. It's my job. Do you know about the planets of the Algol star system? Al Gore? No. There are three planets. Palmo, Motavia... And Dezorus. Palma is a world of green. Motavia is a world of sand. Dezorus is a world of ice. The Algol they all sound is great. currently facing a great crisis. Nothing but sand, nothing but ice, nothing but... What was the third one? Green. Green. That could be anything. Green, sand, and ice. It could be Greenland or Iceland. Because they're kind of the opposite, actually. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything in here? You need a dungeon key to open locked doors. Stupid. Stupid! Daddy, key I'm for Swelo. door? I know how you must feel, dear. No one can stop you from doing what you know you must do. But I don't know what should... I must do. But if you should ever be wounded in battle, come here to rest. I have no idea what I must do. Alright, so that's like a free health rejuvenation place. I think I've pretty much done all the exploring around this area that I can do, except for that church down there. Let's see what that is. They just take 10% of your this body. This is a church. Do you wish to resurrect someone? No. <laughs> yeah, creep. Alice needs 20 experience points. I guess maybe, maybe once you get 20, you can go to the church yeah. and they'll level you up or something. Which is kind of a weird way to... I don't know how that works exactly, but... Let's see... I guess I'll get another escaper. Oh, you play until you die. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, you can't help me. No one can help me now. I still can't believe this is first food. First food. food. First food. It's a first food, Sherp. Sure. 
Alright, so I got a single cola again. Now I'm gonna go get an armory thing, which is armor. Luth shield. God, those other two shields are really fucking expensive, dude. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking money. For something that probably won't work all that well. I'll go through, um, I'll go through one of the other exits and see if it takes me to somewhere different. Alright, this just takes me back into a town. If I go under it. I think that just literally took you to the exit. Yeah, the other I exit. Came out. Yeah, yeah. But what about this? This is different looking. If I could fucking go in it. Can I not go in it? That damn town up there. On that helipad. Crackheads and debutantes. Is this another exit coming to the- yeah, it's the same shit. Fuck. Alright, I'm- I- Owlbear! <laughs> and it's just a bat with an eye. <laughs> that doesn't like- that doesn't look like an owl or a bear! <laughs> it's an eyeball with bat wings, and they just- <laughs> two completely unrelated things. And I died. Maybe Owlbear- Holy shit, Owlbear kicked my fucking ass, oh, dude. Oh god. Holy shit, I died like in two hits. Maybe Owlbear is like the weird English way to say eyeball. Or Al Gore. Owlbear. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> I don't know, that looks like an owl to me. <laughs> so how is crippling blindness for you, gaming dishwasher? Crippling! <laughs> That's how it is. Alright, Secret Command is the next game. My eyes are so bad, I can't even move my legs. They each individually have to be in wheelchairs. Yes. Little tiny wheelchairs under my eyes. Pretty epic. Says Some people have, like, bags under their eyes when they get too tired or yeah. whatever. Alright, you could start this one. Yeah. Let me get the timer ready. <laughs> secret Commando. Commando! Okay. Oh, so it's not Secret Command, it's Secret Command O. Oh! It's like SpaghettiOs. Uh huh. I, mean? I think it's cause I haven't slept in three days, says Gaming Dishwasher. Well, dishwashers don't sleep. Okay, this is already reminding me of like a car you. <laughs> yeah. Or a lot of other, like, like, like the Rambo game for the Sega Master System. Yeah. Very, very similar, like, top-down, vertical shooter. Where you die in one hit. Great! Wonderful! Yay! Okay, what's in the flashy This is not a tank? very secret commando. This dude's being cited by fucking everybody. <laughs> yeah. He's not exactly a solid snake here. Yeah. The movement control is kind of weird, too. It's like Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like you're struggling with it a, quite a bit. Fuck your ping Damn pong it. balls, motherfuckers. Game over. Wait, is this a two-player thing? It might be. That would, that would make sense. Yeah. Well, Pooh just abandoned me to learn a weird move. Ah, oh, yeah, so you got to that part in Earthbound where Pooh goes back off to Pooh Land to learn how to do Star Storm, or whatever the fuck it's called. <clears throat> All right, A shoots these rockets. Yeah. And B just shoots these ping pong balls. I'm guessing the rockets are maybe limited. Yeah. But I don't know. Either they're limited or they are better to use against, like, tanks or something. Or both. Yeah. Why not both? 
God, I hate how not only do your bullets travel slowly, but they have limited range, so they stop after yeah, like, a yeah. certain point. I Even just that opening area where you have all the rocks in front of you yeah. limits you a lot. I don't know what the glowing tents are about there. I don't know. It looks flash. like you can. It looks like you can just kind of hide behind them. That's the only utility I've found for them so far. When is he gonna come back? Never. That's Dude. that's a weird thing for your game file, man. Yeah. That's odd. Yeah, Pooh never comes back. Never ever. You have you've, you've just you, had you have your, the creepy pasta version. You, of you the have just did your last poo. Yeah. You will now be doomed to constipation for the rest of your life. <laughs> Or starvation. You can't produce see, yeah, any yeah. more feces. We got a friend. Yep. And by friend, we of course mean moth. Those guys are fun. Pantry moths are the best. They are. The guy just shooting a flamethrower at nothing! <laughs> I just want this particular bit of land to be hot! <laughs> well, It's guess... too cold outside! Well, guess Gygus is gonna <laughs> kill us all. Baby, it's cold outside. Let me get out my flamethrower. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Take that, winner! <laughs> You're gonna be the loser by the time I'm done with you. Winter no more, loser. It's fucking hard to actually dodge their bullets. Yeah. Like, they move slow as hell, but you move even slower. Yeah, yeah, everything is just slow. This game's too sluggish. Yeah, like, yeah, if it I agree. moved two or three times faster... It needs to be at least three times faster! Yeah. Alright. Alright, they are limited. You see those numbers in the corner? Four and three? The four is the your... The four is your rockets. Yeah. And I, I guess the three is your lives. Yeah, that's because I saw that one going down when he died, so yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, but you get all you your get... rockets back when you die. Interesting. Death is encouraged. Mm hmm. That's interesting. As long as you don't die, then it's totally good to die. Because people die when they are killed. Yes. So don't get killed and you won't die. That's the strategy guide for <laughs> Secret Commando. This is one page long. Don't die, or you will be killed. Don't be killed, or you will die. Mm -hmm. The ultimate super paradox. Okay, those were the tanks I was talking about earlier, I guess. Yeah, the missile worked on them pretty well. Yeah. Can't die if you're dead inside. The <laughs> joke's on you, I'm already dead. Beyond the surface level. My dreams won't die if I high-five the sky. <laughs> Oh, God, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. <laughs> what a shameful, shameful song. And a shameful, shameful anime. Yeah. Like, they really did not need to keep making anime shows for Yu-Gi-Oh! after they fucking kept creating new cards. Like, we get the idea, dude. Yeah. Especially no, you need the anime to learn the wrong rules. For yeah, the game. exactly. Like they're never exactly the correct rules, and they're always like the people that use those God cards in the it. in the anime get really lucky and shit in the first place. Okay, what the fuck? Ah, uh, the enemy placement here is pissing me off. Yeah, this is not a very good game. I'm really not feeling this. I'm one. not really feeling it either. Maybe something like Akari Warriors would be fun. Because we did, we did like, Akari for, like, MSX. Yeah. A while back. And I remember that being pretty decent. Not, like, amazing, but... Mm -hmm. 
and maybe like an arcade version or something like that would run. Something that runs a little faster might be more might be more fun. Mm -hmm. This is just too slow and too difficult. Yeah. And a lot of the difficulty is because it's so slow. Yeah. I hate the shitty UFOs. Oh, you're talking about an Earthbound? Yeah, the UFOs can be a pain Cut. in the ass. Ah, damn it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, all Start does is freeze the fucking game, and I keep pressing Start thinking like that's gonna do anything. But there's a Sega Master System, and Start is basically the A button on the NES controller. God damn it. Speaking of A button, I just pressed that and wasted a fucking rocket. I'm I do gonna, that too. I'm just gonna try walking past. Like, fuck the enemies. I'm gonna see if that, that helps. Just move through the crowd. Yeah. Just because they're guys with guns doesn't mean they're trying to kill you. Just because they happen to be and shooting towards you. Just because they're trying to kill you doesn't mean you gotta entertain their yeah. desires. Like, just walk past, bro. Like, they ain't Undertale, even worth, man. They ain't even worth it, Pacifist man. run. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, dodging the fucking bullets is a real problem. Like, you gotta maneuver around all the stuff. Like, the trees Yeah, the yeah, there's always shit in the way. Like, they should not have this much shit in the way in the very first level of the game. Just too much shit. You like, start out with a lot of shit in the way. Like yeah, right in the first. Yeah, like right in the right very you start, first. There's screen, all these rocks. Like you open the game and there there's it all is. this like fucking pocket lint in front of you. That's yeah, blocking your way. I know it's it's terrible. Like why wouldn't they let you Can't start off the... with a more open environment and then create obstacles later, so you have time to get accustomed to the controls and the battle mechanics and shit. This feels like you're being dropped in the middle of a level, like, halfway through the game. This is not, like, f level one fucking environment here. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck. The first level is the final boss. Wrap your head around that, gentlemen. How did I not get killed there? Uh, welcome to Piss Swamp, where you will be killed. You're dead. <laughs> I got killed. To death. Looks like you didn't read the strategy guide. I didn't. I mean, I wrote the thing. <laughs> that, <laughs> the half-page long strategy guide. Don't die. Don't get killed. Because if you die, you'll get killed, and if you get killed, you'll die. Yeah, I think they, they had that strategy guide in, like, like hardback? Yeah. What was it? Mm-hmm. 20 bucks. And that's a $1980, dude. Yeah. If you don't die, you won't get killed. Fun fact. Which is the only fun thing about this fucking video game. Because <laughs> before I do it with Secret Commando, because on, on the Wii menu, it just, you highlight over it and it just says Secret Command. And I was thinking it would be like some kind of like strategy game or something. Yeah, yeah. Like military madness or something. Yeah. 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 That wasn't even yeah. like your. That wasn't even your voice going high. That was just it going raspy. You <laughs> aged fifty years and then back down. In that one second time span. Secret command. Secret command. <laughs> <laughs> your daddy get a little squirt. A little squirt. <laughs> a little squirt. <laughs> Can I get a squirt of gas? Squirt of gas. <laughs> Daddy needs his juice. His juice. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Andre show. Eric Andre.
We finished King of the Hill, and now that's kind of what we're entertaining ourselves with. Yeah, and after King of the Hill, or, I mean, after King of the Hill and Eric Andre, we're probably going to move on to, like, what, Batman Beyond or Samurai Jack or some shit? Something like that. Yeah. I kind of want to get into Batman Beyond because we've actually got the physical media there. Yeah. What about Eric Andre? Well, Eric Andre... Has uh, a show. Yeah. It's called the Eric Andre Show, um, where he, like, goes around asking people for gas in one of his skits, and he's, like, drinking out of the gas container, like, yeah. drinking the fucking gasoline. I died. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't Me like neither. this game. I don't really... I'm just kind of letting myself die on purpose. But, yeah, Eric Andre. Very good show. He also gets... a very bad show, but very good. It is well, a very good, very it's, bad show. It's, it's good if you know what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah. If you're expecting, like, an actual, like... Show. Tonight show with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, hell, it's not thing, even... It's, nothing... No. No, not even close. Oh, of course, there was an explosion that got me there. God damn it! I've seen a few episodes, but I wasn't really paying WTF. You, you don't pay attention when you watch the Eric Andre show. You don't. You, you pay WTF. That's what you pay. Yeah, that's WTF that's units. Yes. Of Eric Andre. Yes, <laughs> WTF. Uh, you weren't paying enough WTF to the last episode, dude. So, you're not going to get to watch the rest of the season. Yeah. You're not you're not understanding the Eric Andre canon here. The way you're shaping up, bro Tendo. Mm -mm. Bird up. Bird up. Beep, beep, beep. The worst show on television. I can't type. I'm tired. It's okay, man. I've I've been there. Like I've actually fallen asleep in the middle of taking notes in class, and uh, I'll just like have nonsense on my fucking notebook pages by the time I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep like nodding in and out. Yeah, yeah. How fucking much more time do we have to play this shit? We started the timer. Yeah, we did. Less than a minute. Thank you, God. Yeah. Alright, so just get one more game over, and then we can move on to Sonic 2. Yeah. Mm. That'll be it. It'll be all she wrote. Like, I don't know, maybe this is better in co-op, but it's so slow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I like that we're a slow-ass game, and then we're playing Sonic immediately after. <laughs> Should be a little bit different. Oh man, it's definitely it's definitely gonna make Sonic feel even faster. Yeah. It's kinda like when you listen to a real slow and really long song. Yeah. When you have your iPod on shuffle and the next song that comes up is like a punk rock song or something. And it just makes that song sound really fucking fast. Yeah. In comparison, like faster than it usually would sound. I picked up some L. I don't know what the L is. You're gonna get another fucking L if you don't watch out. Oh, L is like... Uh, it looks like you've got seven rockets Oh, okay. Now. So L... Lockets. Lockets, I can exactly. fire lockets at them. Oh, Eat sentimental value, you bitches! You have so many locket. Where's how far I got with that one life? Yeah, I know. That's... It's pretty impressive. You're gonna beat the rest of the game now, and then we're gonna get into Sonic 2. Mm -hmm. You finally figured out the secret to Secret, secret Commando. Commando. <laughs> it's very secretive. Here in Mustard Swamp. <laughs> that smells like hot dogs around here. I bought a bazooka from the shop, and I don't know what to do with it. Equip it to, um... <laughs> I forgot you were talking about Earthbound for a yeah. second. <laughs> you just got a bazooka. Wow, our gun control laws really are lax. Just go in and buy a fucking bazooka without even having to go through a background check or, like, waiting period. Or, yeah, it's like, because there, there was the story recently about uh, Walmart pulling off all the, uh, like... 
poster is all the promotional material for like violent games. But they still have a whole big ass. But they have a gun, gun section. Gun section. Just buy section yeah. in the store. For like, it's, it's like the hunting section or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Let's see, can I like. That is just America in a nutshell, though. I don't know if I have to wait these guys out, or... Yeah, I just ordered one on eBay, no big deal. But in all seriousness, about the bazooka and Earthbound, equip it to it's, Jeff. Yeah, it's or, helpful. Yeah, Jeff or whatever you named him in, in the game. That's who can use the bazooka. And then you go, you either equip it to him, or you go into his inventory and you use it during battle. Okay, well, this part's blinking. Can I... And yeah, there are God guns. Damn it. There are guns at at least some Walmart. <laughs> okay, I got that to blink. I don't know what to do, but whatever. Game over. We're done with this one. Yeah. Let's move on to something never, more fun. Never going back to it, probably. Unless maybe we try co-op. Maybe. But I can't imagine that'll improve it much. Because then it'll just be two slow assholes yeah. fighting a bunch of other slow assholes. I kept the original names because I have no original ideas. All right, well, give it to Jeff, and he can either use it from his inventory, or you can equip it to him, and that'll be his default weapon. Okay, so let's get into some Sanic 2, which I believe Sanic 2 on the Genesis is supposed to be, like, a lot of people will see that as, like, the pinnacle of the original Sonic trilogy. Yeah. Uh, this is the Master System version, the 8-bit version of it. I'm wondering if it's going to feel anything like... Uh, Sonic Pocket Adventure they played on well, from Neo Geo Pocket Color. We're gonna find out. Because, like, uh, the levels from that game are based on Sonic 2. So, I wonder how similar this is gonna right. feel. Well. Uh. Underground Zone. I mean, right. hell, if you're already starting out underground. Start the timer. Yes. I'm not underground. This is this game is a lying piece of shit. End stream. <laughs> okay. So A and B both jump. Oh, what the fuck? You keep like slowing down. That might just be because I'm terrible at Sonic. Could be. Okay, like, the last time I ever played Sonic is when we finished off Pocket Adventure. I haven't played any more since then. Is he, does he have his, uh, spin dash? Um. Doesn't look like No, that. no, I duck and then I press either one of the buttons and it just makes him, like, jump. He just started a war, XD. Yeah, it actually seems pretty different from Sonic 2 on Genesis so far. Yeah. I don't, because uh, the level that you start off with that one is like a like a Green Hill Zone type deal. Mm -hmm. It's like a grass level. Yeah. Alright, you want to try Act 2? Sure. Oh wait, what the hell is it already? Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because the zones and the axe, I forgot. Yeah. Kind of mixed up there. Oh god, already? Already. Already with the fellers. Already with the dudes. The bros. Bro Tindle. Bro Bro Ega. Hey Tails, want some ranch? <laughs> you wanna hit this ranch? Shadow? <laughs> Dude, you're acting like a real mulatto now, bro. Yeah. And Fucking hell, I should've jumped. Fell into the lava. Like, maybe this is based off of Sonic 2 for Game Gear. I've never played Sonic 2 for Game oh. Gear. I have it on 3DS Virtual Console. Uh, maybe yeah. if anyone's played it, they can clear that up. Because mm -hmm. someone was asking us earlier about it. Yeah, they were asking Genesis or Game Gear, and we were like, neither! But yeah, Sega maybe this is based... Because I know, I know the Game Gear versions of the Sonic trilogy are mm -hmm. different from the uh like genesis ones like they're totally different act three mm. it's like a full act like a full play 
in three acts. It's a three-act tragedy. It's gonna be a tragedy. Uh, That's that was a tragedy tragic. right there. <laughs> Neither is a good choik. He meant choice, but he choik. left the E off. <laughs> you fucking choik! Ah! Uh, uh, okay, uh... Just see what you can do if you go... God damn it! Really, huh? I was gonna try and, like, go all the way back and kind of speed through yeah. the cliffside as fast as I could, but then I fell in the lava. And then I died. Yay for me. Uh, so, like, yeah, this is what I was... I was gonna try and, like, go through... And see if I can just go through here. Because, like, you can see where the bricks are laid out a little differently. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Boom. But I can't do it. Not like... How far do it? Is he, how far can you jump to the left from there? Because I know there's lava. Maybe there's land as well. No, just lava. Nope, just lava. So you probably just are meant to jump in a certain way. Here you go. You try it. Back to it one. World it one. Ah. Oof. 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 Big oof. My favorite, my favorite anime. My favorite rapper. My fa yeah. Well, yeah, there's that, but my favorite, uh, giant robot anime is Big Oof. <laughs> Big O. Of. <laughs> Big Oof. Big Oof. <laughs> I think I only ever saw maybe like one episode of that show a uh, long, I, long, I, long time ago. I watched a few episodes of it when I was a kid because it would be like on around the same time as DBZ. Yeah. And I would inevitably have the TV running after I wa finished watching DBZ, so I'd catch some of Big O. I, re I distinctly remember there was this one like two episode arc where, um,. The, the pilot for Big O, Roger Smith, was, like, fighting some other giant mech that was kind of, like, mimicking it or something. Mm -hmm. Like, some kind of um, a mech that was based off of the design of Big O or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Paradigm City, and I remember, like, the bizarre, like dome world that everybody kind of lived yeah, in in the cities. Like, all the cities were under these big, giant domes. God damn it. Yeah. Same, says Gaming Dishwasher. I guess referring to Big O. So, yeah. I don't know much about Big O. I know it's set in some kind of dystopian future or some shit. Where everybody lives under big domes and there's big, giant robots. Which, those two things seem like they would be mutually exclusive because, like, how the fuck are you gonna pilot a giant robot inside of a big glass dome yeah. and not fucking destroy the big glass dome? But, you know, hey. Big giant robots in big glass domes shouldn't throw rocks. Yes. Let he who is not inside of a giant robot cast a stone as long as it does not hit the glass dome interior and break it and cause poisoned air to come through and kill everybody. That's how the saying goes. That's that's the exact mm -hmm. one right there. I hate these little, like, lava sections, because you can't just run straight across or whatever. Like, like in oh, Mario, you can... Oh, what a bitch. It. Like, on Mario, you can you can run across when it's, like, one gap, uh, and you slide, you slip slide around all over the fucking place. Oof. Here, I you go ahead and do this one. You didn't do this level anyway. Yeah. Ah! 
that fucking crab. I got crabs. Robot crabs. Oh, the robot. Robot. It's so easy to fall in there. It is so damn easy. Yeah. In that it's not easy at all. Yeah, like, I wish the first level was just, like, Green Hill Zone, like usual. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something that gives you a chance to kind of... Just grow. run. Just yeah, fucking just run. run. Yeah. Not all these carts and shit right at the start. Carts and, and fucking, like, lava pits. Yeah. Like that, th this is, like, second or third level kind of shit. The good yeah. night bench. Says gaming dishwasher. Oh, is that like you come across the benches in the dungeon man in Earthbound, and you can just like all four of you can sleep oh, yeah. in a big stack on each other, or whatever the fuck. Who you get? Oh, here we go again with this bull ass <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah, what the fuck about this level? Yeah, I don't like this. I don't maybe like, like maybe you're not supposed to start in the cart. Maybe you just run when you start a level. That would be ass. Because maybe like you can you can go faster when you're running than the uh, the cart will take you. Yeah, guys, I don't think you can break through that right there. I think you just gotta you just yeah. gotta start it over. I don't know, this is dumb. Okay, I'll, I'll try not using the cart. See where that gets me. Damn, like, what the... It's like, once you're there, you can't do anything. Yeah. Fuck this game. <laughs> I'd rather just play Sonic the Hedgehog on Genesis. Yeah, from, I haven't actually played a lot of Sonic 2 yet. I've beaten the original. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, from a little bit I've played of Sonic 2, I'd, I'd definitely prefer that one, I'd say. For, like, the Genesis version. Yeah. This is kind of weird. Was like, maybe, I, maybe I'll try out the Game Gear one on I think, my 3DS and see if it's like this. I think I made it to, like, the second or third zone of Sonic 2, because I have that Sonic collection yeah, yeah. for the Nintendo DS. And, um... So, I think I might have made it a little ways into that one. And I distinctly remember there was no bullshit like this. Yeah. This early into that game. Right. And I, I remember, all, yeah, like, a lot of it was similar to what we played in Pocket Adventure. Mm -hmm. Like, they have, you know, the like the Green Hill thing. The, it, it, I don't think it was called that. But then yeah. you have, like, you have the Chemical Plant Zone, just like in Pocket Adventure. And the level I play, like, yeah, definitely... Yeah. I don't think it was the same levels, but it was very similar themes. I know there was a casino level in either Sonic yeah, 1 yeah. or Sonic 2 that was also in Pocket Adventure. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. That game was kind of a like a mishmash of the original Genesis ones. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let you play through to get a game over. See if you can figure out what's going on in Act 3. Okay. Because I've been the only one playing Act 3. Yeah, I need, I need to try that. Yeah. Maybe you'll uncover the horrible secret commando of that level. It's secret commando. Mm-hmm. That's you're, gonna burst, you're gonna burst through that wall and it's just secret commando. Yeah. God damn it. Gotcha, your favorite gift! Disappointment! <laughs> God, I hate this part right here. It's all fucking lava. Ugh. You know what this game that's based off of going real fast and, like, down slopes and stuff needs? More jumping puzzles. Right at the start. Right at the beginning. 
I mean, I think for what for what I've heard from like the people who know the old school Sonic games, is like you start out playing them slower a lot of times to figure it out, and then once you've mastered them, is when you can just yeah. like speed through it. Like speed is the reward for knowing the level. Yeah. But I mean, come on, for the opening level in a Sonic game, the yeah. opening level. Okay, let me see something. If I if I just like run through, okay, no. I'm gonna try to not do that. And just Yeah, I don't I do not know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, like if there was a if there's another button that doesn't no. No, I tried other buttons. Yeah, what the fuck? It's This yeah, this is yeah. weird. Yeah. And it's only the fir the third act of the first zone. And you're already dealing with some kind of shit like this. Like, what do you gotta fucking bend down in front of the wall and wait for the fucking tornado to <laughs> pick you up and carry you across? Well, obviously. Okay, let's see. I will try this one now. Maybe Sonic's if Quest. Maybe if there's a way to, like, pick up momentum... Uh, it's like you can... You you probably just have to time your jump exactly right to make it onto that little ledge. I guess. That was him killing a fly or moth or whatever the fuck. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Bug. Insect. Oh boy. You know what this is reminding me of? Fucking Metal Slug first mission, I think it was. That whole that... mind guard section where I just kept dying over and over. Then you have to jump just right. But that was late in that game. The best strategy is to turn the game off and never play it again. <laughs> oh, trust me, we're getting there. Like, how much time do we. <laughs> good, good timing. I'm not gonna even play any more of it. Okay. Yeah, Fuck I'm gonna that. have to try. I'm gonna have to try the Sonic 2 Game Gear I have on yeah. 3DS and see if it starts out like that. And we might need to like look up a video of someone doing the um, Act, Act 3. Three part yeah. on on YouTube for this. You're probably game right. Game. You have to like jump. You have to like maybe hang on a little bit longer and then jump at just the right time. Yeah. But to go there. God, that's a shitty thing to make your Play. Okay, why why wasn't this the first level? Exactly. How much time do we? Beep? Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing that this is just like this a phone timer. And it wasn't like a time set on a bomb. <laughs> Wait, so how much time do we have? <laughs> I'd love to see that at the end of an action movie. McGruber, dude, you gotta cut the green one. <laughs> All right, well, that's been this live stream. I would say we would definitely probably like to revisit A Boy and His Blob. Yeah, that figure one, that it, one figure seemed... it Figure it out a little more. Yeah. And Fantasy Star, I kind of dig. Uh, we just kind of need a little more time to get acquainted with the battle system and the enemies, like the strength of the enemies. Yeah. You know, know what to avoid. The... Bokute Upo was kind of neat too. It was neat. Yeah, yeah. We might. Once we, once we kind of, because we figured, we didn't figure out how to beat the boss until the very end. Yeah, and then we got to the beginning of the second level and we were like, next game. Yeah. Time to go to the next game. Aqua Lake Zone. Oh, it is a lake with aqua in it. Oh. Who could have thunk it? But, I'd, I'd say like, Probably this game and Secret Commando are the ones that we're much less likely to go back to, especially Secret Commando. Yeah. Because, like, we, if we could figure out how to get past Act 3 in this game, it might be worth continuing with. Yeah. Because for an 8-bit Sonic game, it doesn't control that badly. Yeah, like, it's pretty competent. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty faithful. It's just a weird start... To it. A lake with water. Oh shit! It's just and, a weird um, start to this game. Yeah. Definitely. And then uh, Alice Kid was Alex decent. Alice Kid was eh. I, I thought it was kind of just eh. 
Yeah, I can see that. But like, I'd rather just play Mario. Yeah, I that. feel you. I feel you. But yeah, the highlights were definitely like Fantasy Star, Boy and His Blob, uh, Boy and His Blob, and Bokute Upa. Yeah, I'll give you that. Those were the three. Yeah. So, all right. Well, next six pack will probably be an NES six pack. And gaming dishwasher, we have this scrambled egg zone. What the fuck? <laughs> we have this scrambled egg. Oh, zone. totally so, scrambled yeah. eggs. That's exactly what this but is. No, we have this poll in our description for this um, stream. And since I think you're the only one here, you are. But really, free. anyone, anyone who yeah. hears this, anyone who sees this either right now or afterwards, we have a poll in the description. With four games on it that we're thinking about doing for our next recorded LP series after we uh, upload all of the um, No More Heroes that we've got in the pipeline. Because we finished that game a while back. Yeah. And uh, we just gotta edit and post the rest of the videos over the span of however long it'll take to get through all of them. And so... The poll in the description, you can go and vote on one of the four games that we are considering for our next series. And uh, right now, it's only three votes on it. Yeah. So if we could just get a little bit more input on that, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so and I guess get... I, could go ahead, I can go ahead and say the options yes. for the poll. Here we go. This is for our next recorded West Play series. West Play. West Play. Not, not the live stream. Okay. Wives no, we. No, no. Marriages in here, but anyway, uh, four choices are Killer Seven for the GameCube, Resident Evil Four, the Wii edition, uh, Paper Mario for N sixty four on the Wii Virtual Console, or Banjo Kazooie, the actual like N sixty four one. Yeah, actual from cartridge. That. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, those we're picking choosing between those four options, and. Uh, Pick whatever appeals to you. And we will uh, choose the winner, I guess, uh, after the last video in No More Heroes gets posted. And we, we'll probably give it a little time after that, I imagine. Uh, at least a few days, maybe a week, maybe, something like that. Maybe. It all, de it all depends on how many votes the poll has in it, like when we post that last video. Because yeah. if it's got a good amount of votes already, that probably means everybody who was interested in voting in it voted in it. So, yeah. And and Gaming Dishwasher is giving us an okay circle emoji, right. implying that they understand what we're talking about. Green Hill Zone. Why wasn't this the first level? <laughs> totally, but... You see, this is, this is... Unless there's some weird shit that happened where it started us at a different point in the game, but I never opened the game before, so there's no reason why. Yeah. But yeah, this definitely should have been the first level. This is like ideal starter level for Sonic, so what the fuck? I don't know. Weird. Fuck the Sega Master Very system. weird. Anyway, final level, Green Hill Zone. <laughs> that's like the end stage. Alright, so, so we'll... Yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much the stream, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning guys, in. And, uh, we will see you next week mm -hmm. for the NES six pack. And in the meantime, and I'm doing another drunk lock tomorrow yes. evening. And we'll do some more GTA stuff as well. Yeah, we now that we've got no that. more heroes cleared off, we got a little more time to yeah. do some more GTA until um, we hopefully complete it before all of No More Heroes gets posted. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. But bye bye. <laughs>